He lying if I said I'm not entertained. KSI is parading his inflated ego as the champ after easily defeating Joe Weller. Logan Paul is happy to have all the attention away from the Japan stuff and save his career. Jake Paul just gets to be in the spotlight and pull his <laughs> usual Jake Paul Cabbage. shenanigans. What is up guys, your boy Real G. I'm back with another reaction video called How KSI Saved Logan Paul's Career. You know, this video is from um, Andre Tebe. The guy is awesome. You know, it's an animated. So let's check this out. If you're new to my channel, subscribe with the notification button on. And don't forget to subscribe to my second channel and my third channel, the Thailand channel. There's a lot of reactions going on. Just subscribe, turn on the notification button, share my video, you know, give it a thumbs up. Man, we are good to go. Now, let's check this out and see what it's all about. So let's right. do a quick recap for anybody who doesn't know what this is all about. A few months ago, KSI had this big boxing match with another YouTuber called Joe Weller. Which, come on, look at KSI, look at Joe Weller. This was a no-brainer, KSI destroyed the poor guy. And with his belt around his waist, he very smartly called out the Paul brothers. Jake Paul, Logan Paul, any of the Pauls, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> now, Jake and Logan, being the couple of bitches that they are, took advantage of the fact that he said any of the Pauls, and they tried to send their dad to fight KSI for them. If he oh. wants to fight me, I'm totally on board. <laughs> I'll whip his ass. Go, of course, he's not going to like the idea that he's really? getting hit by an old guy. But for real, though, what oh, a no. bitch move to send your daddy to fight in your place. That's like being the cool kids in <laughs> high school, bullying people left and right. But as soon as someone challenges them, they're like, oh, I saw about this. Oh. And it's not even like they're dead. That is this super cool badass dude. Greg Paul no. is a washed up old man who shamelessly rides the coattails of his kid's success. And he also happens to be super fucking creepy. At this point, Logan was still busy filming dead people and tasing dead rats. And his oh. PR people told him, dude, this is the best thing you can do right oh. now. Go fight KSI and this whole Japan thing will go away. So Logan Paul and KSI signed the contract agreeing to fight in August. And KSI's little brother, Deji, somehow gets involved even though he's nowhere nearly as strong and imposing as his brother. Deji challenges Jake Paul, and Jake is like, hell yeah, I'm gonna fight this scrawny ass kid, are you kidding me? I get to be part of the KSI fight without any risk of losing whatsoever? Uh, sign me the flip up. And they sign the contract, and thus the four of them are off to the races. Deji versus Jake Paul leading up to the main fight, KSI versus Logan Paul. And say what you will about any of these guys, but this is a groundbreaking event for YouTube. It's bringing a lot of legitimacy to YouTubers in the eyes of the mainstream public, and it's really interesting to see how it's all going down. Now, a few days ago, they had their first press conference, which, I don't know, does it count as a press conference? Where's the press? All I see is a bunch of kids and <laughs> this very angry Asian boy that they keep cutting to. Ooh. Deji comes out and sits on the stool like a good little boy. Jake Paul comes out in his Conor McGregor wannabe suit, <laughs> starts trashing Deji, who at this point is just contemplating what a mistake this oh, all was. No. Finally, it dawns no. on him that he should probably do something. But the villainous snake that is Jake Paul immediately takes charge. Fuck Jake Paul! Fuck Jake Paul! Oh no! Fuck Jake Paul! Oh no! Fuck Jake Paul! Fuck Jake Paul! This is such a power move by Jake Paul, and even though I dislike him, I gotta respect his commitment and willingness to be the villain in this story. Then he snatches Deji's sunglasses, and the referee guy goes, I'm gonna personally buy Deji a new pair of glasses. I apologize for that, champ. Deji, no. This is a mistake. You don't know what you're getting into. And then Jake Paul, seemingly out of nowhere, starts shouting Walmart over and over again. Walmart! Okay, okay, okay. okay. Walmart! All right. Walmart! Go get your Go glasses! You. Walmart! You. How can you argue with someone who keeps shouting nonsense at you? Wrong. That is absolutely wrong. proved over and over again. Wrong. He actually... Then they bring out KSI. 
This guy holding his belt is having the time of his life. Deji finally gets a boost of confidence now that his big brother is next to him, and KSI is like, dude, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> then Logan Paul comes on stage, and the guy at the podium fist oh, no. him. Now, hold on a second, oh, he didn't dude. fist bump KSI. If I didn't know any better, I would say that this guy is part of the low gang. KSI trying to look all stoic oh, no. and menacing, but he just looks like he's doing a duck face. Logan Paul <laughs> takes out his best stand-up material. Looks like you grew a little dick today, oh. but it's a little Oh. There's no way this could get any more cringy. Yo, oh. and I'm vegan, and I'm vegan, so I recognize. Oh, more cringy like this? I don't think. I don't think. <laughs> no, no way, bro. This is too much. It's a baby carrot when I see one. Oh. Ooh. Whoa. Then KSI brings out some gifts for Logan. He Ooh. throws these Toy Story alien toys at him, a throwback to his infamous Japan oh. Forest hat. But before he gets to finish talking, Jake Paul just ruins the entire bit. So you can burn me, the oh, shit on your head. What the fuck is the fuck, fuck out of I don't think there's anyone on earth as hateable as Jake Paul. He's like that kid in kindergarten who just bullies everyone, but even the teacher is like, this kid is a nightmare. Sorry, Billy, but you're gonna keep getting bullied because I'm not getting paid enough to deal with this shit. Then they start pushing each other and the stage erupts in chaos. But fear not, ladies and gentlemen, Greg Paul is here to save the day. Look at his creepy old no. man face. What no. are you doing there? This is not about you. So the whole thing... <laughs> Oh no. It was just a oh, giant no. shit show. But I would be lying if I said I'm not entertained. KSI is parading his inflated ego as the champ after easily defeating Joe Weller. Logan Paul is happy to have all the attention away from the Japan stuff and save his career. Jake Paul just gets to be in the spotlight and pull his <laughs> usual Jake Paul Gabby. shenanigans. And Deji, oh, no. well... Unfortunately, Deji is in over his head. Dude, even Rice Gum and Keemstar, both of which are friends with Deji, do not have his back. I just don't think Deji's ready, I don't know. Deji, we're rooting for you, but like, Jake might take it. Deji, but you're the homie, I love you to death, but I may have put money on the other team. <laughs> Keemstar just admitted he has money on Jake Paul. Like, dude, what? So listen, whatever happens, this is gonna be huge. I don't care about any of these people. Every one of them is more successful than me, so they can all go suck a baby carrot as far as I'm concerned. But this is an important event for social media and YouTube as a platform in particular. Mainstream media still treats us like garbage. So when this boxing match gets more eyeballs than McGregor versus Mayweather, they're gonna go, oh shit, there's something happening. Here. And for that reason alone, I'm into this in a big way. Wilfer, we need to get tickets to this fight because it's gonna be lit. <laughs> Wait, what? You're already <laughs> going? Who are you going with? <laughs> Jake Paul personally invited you? Are you kidding me? You know what? I'm gonna call Deji <laughs> right now and he's gonna invite me and then we're gonna be on opposing teams. How about that? You have reached Walmart customer service. No, Walmart. Are uh, I think he's on his lunch break. So what do you guys think? Do you Walmart. care about any of this? Who do you think is gonna win? And okay. do you think me and Wilfer should have a boxing match of our own? Don't give me that look, I will fuck you up, you goddamn piece of shit! <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so funny. <laughs> this guy is so funny. I don't know where to start, but he is so funny. Hey, lad, man. Oh my goodness. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, about his um Logan Paul and KSI fight, man. I don't know what's gonna happen. Everything is so weird right now. I'm just waiting 25th of August to see what is going on because I've had you know I've had a lot of trash about this match about this match I don't know this fight I don't know what is going to happen so I don't know anymore who to believe on so I don't know who am I going to stake my money on the only thing I have to do now just to wait 25th and see who is going down the same thing with um, Deji, Comedy Shots Gamer, 
and Jake Paul. I don't know who's gonna win. Seriously, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But the only thing I know is that um let the strongest win. The strongest is going to win. But someone is going down. That's the only that's the only thing I'm I'm sure of. Someone is going down. <laughs> oh man. This this issue. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But this drama, this drama is gonna it's gonna end up twenty fifth. I don't think it's gonna end up twenty fifth. After twenty fifth of August. I don't think this drama will continue, man. These guys they hate each other. They hate they really hate each other. Yo, with that being said, don't forget to leave a comment below and tell me what you think about this and who's gonna win this fight. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share my videos, turn on the notification buttons and then you know subscribe to my other channels you'll find a link in the description below thank you guys for watching peace out